y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement for episode one of the series Miss Marvel, streaming now on Disney Plus. Miss Marvel, I think Kamala, 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 Kamala Khan. Character I have seen on things in passing. Don't really know much about her other than she is part of the Marvel family. I don't know how, but I guess we'll find out. I really don't have a whole lot of expectations for this show. I'm expecting to be entertained. I'm wanting to be entertained. I'm also hoping for smart storytelling where choices are made because they make sense and not because we're having a narrative or a plot forced to go in certain situations. I want it to kind of be nice and flowy and on an ocean wave. That's what I am hoping for. It's like what I said when I saw Obi Wan. I don't know what we're serving. I'm going to a friend's house for dinner. Don't know what they're serving me. I kind of got an idea of their aesthetic. I just want to enjoy whatever it is they put in front of me. So I'm glad you're here with me for that adventure. Since this is a first episode of a new show to everybody, you might be new to my channel. So if you are, hello, welcome. I am a published author of 17 books, including paranormal, contemporary romances, as well as a fantasy series. So when I watch television shows, my brain is constantly organizing, cataloging, breaking down story structure, dialogue, setting. Why are these storytellers telling this specific story in this specific way? I find that entire process fascinating, which means I will ask a lot of rhetorical questions. You might think I'm overanalyzing because I am, because I am trying to learn how to better my storytelling experience by watching other things. So you and I will have different experiences because I am bringing with me my history, my experiences, my research, my observation. You have led a different life than me, so you're going to see things in a different way, which is why you like watching reaction videos. I'm going to guess because <laughs> you want to see who else is watching or enjoying or possibly even not connecting with the story as you may be. So with that being said, again, thanks for joining me. I've got my big cozy blanket. I've got my beverage of choice somewhere. Staying hydrated, y'all. Keep up with your water. <laughs> so thanks again for joining me, and let's get to it. <laughs> if you hear silence, it's because I'm trying to protect the weekend's copyright. <laughs> Finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for. Oh, she's got a Valkyrie in her little diorama. Now who was this glorious, well-coiffed hero? See my diligent studying of Scott Lang's podcast interviews. <laughs> Love how Cap's got a little bandage on his head. Adventure gone. Next week, I'm going to kick off a special two-part series on why I think Thor is secretly a gamer. Secretly? We know he's a gamer. Wow, that beard. That is a luxurious beard. Bless you. <gasps> That's a fail right there. Yikes. I don't think anyone saw. That's my car. You set her up to fail, having her drive in the street with all the other cars. I have taught her to drive myself. Wow. 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 Oh, there was too many names to look and see what might be an Easter egg. Kamala Khan, please come to my office ASAP. Done something very wrong. I'm just kidding. It's crazy that the whole school can hear this right now. No, nothing is wrong. I just want to chat. Um, can't wait. P.S. This is Mr. Wilson. Okay, first off, I just want to say I get it. You get what? Well, I hear you've had a hectic couple weeks. <gasps> very funny. Off into space in your little fantasy land. Hey! Oh, really? We truly started the meeting 30 seconds ago. I'm going to give you a task. I want you to go home. Then you're gonna look yourself in the mirror and you're gonna ask yourself, Kamala, who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? You're sitting lyrics from Milan. I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I know, I know, fantasy's fun. Fantasy's really fun. But right now, I need you to pull yourself together and join reality. 
Oh, I'm feeling her. I'm feeling her right now. I'm feeling her right now. Captain Princess Marvel. No, Princess Marvel. I'm sorry, but you know what's even better? What? Zombie Captain Marvel. I could be like, I will eat your friends. <laughs> I think that's going to be an upcoming What If episode, right? Right? So it's like this, Hi, it's Kamala like this Vita. How are you? What's she watching? This is so cool. Is this Nani's? Does mom recognize that? that? Is Joan. Does mom recognize that? You're too short. She's not too short. <laughs> this thing is too long. Exactly, mom. Tell him. What was engagement? Broken? What happened? She decided that she wasn't ready for commitment. So now she's off gallivanting through Europe. Good for her. I mean, she wanted to travel the world and she went for it. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're too short for that, Janu. Yes, you really are too short for that. <gasps> are you staying for dinner? No, no, I got some work. Okay, I'll pack you something to go. No, no, I'm good. No, no, of course I will. <laughs> So you want to go to a party at night? Is this a joke? No. Is Bruno recording this for you? <laughs> and you know, it's not like I'm asking to go to a party and do cocaine. Not a lot of salam here, huh? Brought you some chai. Why can't her brother take her? He has a vehicle of some sort, right? The visuals of the storytelling is really great and really engaging and I'm surprised. I don't know I should say I'm surprised by how much I'm enjoying it, but it's just this nice little extra dash of sprinkles on this ice cream sundae because this show is sweet as heck. <laughs> so your brother told us about your Avengers party? He did. Yes. And even though it will be a distraction from your studies and there will be a lot of haram going on there, Kamala. We have decided to let you go. Oh, but there okay. are special conditions. <laughs> Your Abu will drive you there and he will go inside with you for two hours. I think Abu will enjoy himself greatly. And as far as your dressing go, I have a surprise. Oh, Mom, what do you got? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they just came up with this at the last minute. That is so sweet and horrifying at the same time. This is mine and Bruno's thing, okay? Come on, Betsy. Can't you make an exception for Abu? And you can't come with me. Not just like that because it is so humiliating. <gasps> oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. If you don't go with your dad, you're not going at all. You're not going. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You're Kamal Khan. You want to save the world, then you're going to save the world. With the red equipment, of course. Speaking of. That was a moment. Oh, jeez, man. 30 p.m. We catch the bus to Camp Lehigh. And it might be a tight window, but Avenger Con is at Camp Lehigh. Wow! <laughs> oh, we got a little Captain America showgirl. Of course, he's Tony Stark. Of course, he's Tony Stark. <laughs> so your plan is take the bus. Always, and that's your note. the bus. We can still make the next one, but if we miss it, it's game over. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 
I'd say you have a point zero 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 one percent chance. Part of me is like, that'd be super awesome to have it at Camp Lee High. And the other part of me is like, how dare they? It's sacred ground. <laughs> Where's her costume? is too much to take in. Way too much to take in. Oh, that what's her name? Last call for the Captain Marvel cosplay competition. Cosplayers, please line up on the side of the stage. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna run and get it. No, 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 hey, we don't have time, we don't have time, we don't have time. You gotta go, it's good, it's fine. You got the bangle, put it on. Oh no! Close your palm. Close your palm. Oh no! rolling it's not even round oh no oh my god <laughs> did it just knock her out Are you okay? Hey. Oh. Oh no. Mmm. Come on. So where have you been? Guess, Mom. Guess. Who do you want to be in this world, huh? Do you want to be good? Like we raised you to be? What? Or, or do you want to be some, you know, this oh. cosmic head in the clouds person as if a cosmic head in the clouds person can't be good cosmic apparently there's a post credit scene Out. A cosplayer with too much time on their hands. Not this one. I've never seen powers like that. Oh. Yeah, bring her in. A new player has entered the field. So here we have Miss Marvel, episode one, where we have met our protagonists in their everyday world. And I, as I said earlier, I feel I feel her on both sides, both parent and child, because I have children about her age. My nephews are about that age. I have friends with children about this age. And it is a very fine line, when, especially when you have a child who is creatively inclined, where you're trying to balance that encouragement to feed your creativity with responsibility and being able to take care of yourself as you get older. Pay your bills, be able to feed yourselves, not let your house get overgrown with junk and trash and dishes and whatnot. It's a very delicate balance. And I sometimes will find myself with my kids going, I fear for your future when I see them start veering too much into van, van down by the river. <laughs> Life 
choices. So I felt her pain and I felt like the counselor going, you know, it's junior year. You've got things to you have to decide. And as much as you want them to stay in their own little bubbles and in fun land, adulthood's not fun. And you kind of have to prepare somebody to do what the do the things that you have to do just to survive and be a functioning member of society. So it's very interesting. I felt that pain. I felt that pain. But the energy of this show, especially this episode, for me, kind of was great. It was exciting. We had some visuals, but it thrown at us, but it wasn't overwhelming. It was colorful. It was bright. We understood um, Kamala, and I'm going to call her Kamala because that's just how it's going to work. I'm going to try to get it right. <laughs> but we understood kind of where she was coming from, what she wanted, what her own struggles are. Because that change from teenage to adulthood is, it can be rather difficult. All she wants is just to have fun and enjoy the thing she loves most to its marrow. I get that, pumpkin. I get that. But she made bad choices in order to get there. But now she's got this power. So, Grandma, Grandma, what was Grandma's little bracelet for? Ter Terrigen crystals, I think I've heard. Um, so... I guess we'll find out next episode. And now we've got some agency, government agency, government agency. I don't know. But there's an agency now involved wanting to know more about her. And I want to know more about her as well. So I'm excited for episode two. And I do hope that you join me on that adventure. And I also love to hear what you thought about this episode, especially when we have a new, mostly new to us character, how you felt this episode went. So again, please hit subscribe so you know when the next episode of not only this, but all the other stuff that I'm watching drops. And I also hope you take five seconds today just to experience your own joy. Whatever thing is your jam, just swim in that jam, smother it all over yourself and have a good time. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.